Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about plant growth regulators or phytohormones like auxin, cytokinin, gibberellin, etc. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, we should know that what are plant growth regulators. So as the name indicates, they regulate the growth of plants. So these are the certain chemicals or you can say these are the hormones which influence the growth and differentiation of plant cells their tissue and organ so these chemical they either inhibit or either increase the growth of plant cells so these are the plant growth regulator and earlier they were also called as phytohormones or plant hormones there are mainly five classes of this naturally occurring plant hormones or growth regulator which is auxins cytokinins gibberellins abscisic acid and ethylene now let's discuss them first is auxins so auxins they have a strong influence on the cell growth expansion cell wall acidification they also initiate the cell division and the organization of meristem which either give rise to a callus or a defined organ means they help in the cell growth expansion in organized tissue these auxins they cause the root formation and they also used in somatic embryogenesis and if we take the example of auxins so commonly naturally occurring auxins are IAA that is indole acetic acid and IBA that is indole butyric acid so these IAA and IBA are the naturally occurring auxins while synthetic auxins are also there which include NAA that is naphthalene acetic acid 2,4-D that is 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid and 2,4-5-T that is 2,4-5-trichlorophenoxyacetic acid. So these are the synthetic auxins. Now next are the cytokinins. So they stimulate the cell division. As the name indicates, cyto means cell. Kinesis means division. So they get their name because they induce the or stimulate the cell division. That's why the cytokinins and the cell division is generally regulated by the joint action of both of these means auxins and cytokinins. They both work together to regulate the cell division. The example of the cytokinin include like zeatin and 2-IP that is 2-isopentenyl adenine. So these are the example of naturally occurring cytokinins while the synthetic cytokinin they include kinetin and BAP that is 6-benzyl adenine purine. Next, gibberellins. The gibberellins, they promote the flowering, seed germination and shoot elongation. Means they help in the flowering, germination of seed and stem or shoot elongation. There are generally, you can say over 20 known gibberellins, but the GA3 is usually used to increase the shoot elongation. That is gibberellin 3, GA3 is used for increasing the shoot elongation. The cultured cell, they synthesize their own gibberellins. Means we uh, generally we do not need to add these gibberellins in the culture media. The cultured callus cells, they can make their own gibberellins sufficient for the growth. Next, abscisic acid. So this abscisic acid is naturally produced in the plant cells and this abscisic acid is regarded as the inhibitor because it maintains the bud and seed dormancy. Mean it is responsible for the seed dormancy this abscisic acid that is aba it also inhibit the auxin promoted cell wall acidification and it also slows down the cell elongation so ultimately this abscisic acid it act as a inhibitor for the growth it act as a you can say it act as a inhibitor of growth and differentiation it generally used for the seed dormancy or you can say generally responsible for the seed dormancy the seed dormancy is that period in which the seed do not germinate this aba it also have a very important role in the opening or closing of stomata so this aba it has a main role in the closing of stomata to reduce the transpiration this aba it also control you can say it also control the uptake of water and ions by the root Next, ethylene. It is a gaseous hormone and it promotes the fruit ripening. Means this hormone 
is in the gaseous form and it is responsible for the fruit ripening, senescence and the leaf abscission. This ethylene it is synthesized from the methionine and generally the auxin they stimulate the production of ethylene. So this is all about the plant growth regulators that is auxin, cytokinin, gibraline, abscisic acid and ethylene. So this is done for the phytohormones or plant growth regulator. See in the next video guys. Till then thank you very much.